Sports Station, Yes FM. It is 825. I have Dr. Lucas Craig in from SUNY Canton. And we're talking about Engineers Day, which is coming up when Tuesday, right? Yeah, this coming Tuesday, yes. Okay, what is Engineers Day at SUNY Canton? So uh, what we're doing is we're, we're celebrating the, the National Week of Engineers Week mm -hmm. uh, that night from 5 to 8 p.m. Okay. And uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of different stuff. So we're going to have over 20 fun interactive demonstrations and activities okay. for the public to uh, to see and take part in. Mm -hmm. And then at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., we're actually having a marshmallow competition. Okay. Where, where, where uh, <coughs> families, uh, groups of teams, up to four per team, yep. will actually participate in building a structure. Uh, using 20 uncooked strands of spaghetti, uh -huh. uh, one yard of tape and rope, and one marshmallow. And they have 18 minutes to build the tallest freestanding structure. Wow. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be great. It's uh, uh, It'll be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Now, this is open to not only SUNY CAN students, but also the general public. So if you have a high school student who wants to be an engineer and go into that field, this would be a great way to actually see the facilities as soon as you can and see what you may be working with in the coming college years. Uh, yes. So the, the competition actually is only open for the public. It, uh -huh. it won't be open for the current SUNY Canton students. Right. So because we want to encourage the uh, the public to come in and and, uh, and and challenge them on that competition. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we definitely want the public to come in and, and get in groups of teams mm -hmm. and uh, uh, four per team, mm -hmm. uh, four students, uh, four people per team and, and do what they want to do yeah now the whole engineering field i mean how how is that evolving i mean what what changes are are, are, are you seeing now and and what's coming in the future with engineering oh yeah so we have uh we teach manufacturing in the last few years yeah i mean using lays and, and other drill presses well nowadays we have 3d printers we have a, a few that will be on demonstration that you design a part you click print uh -huh. And it'll start printing in front of you, layer by layer, and you can have an object in your hand. Wow. As a, like a part for anything you want, yeah. Wow. Uh, so uh, uh, we had students before in a capstone course. This is like a design course. They actually built a prosthetic finger out of the 3D printer to, to test it. Yeah, yeah. They are building parts wow. for remote control cars, for you name it. Uh, wind turbine blades. Uh -huh. You design them, change the shape, test them, see how they work so you can understand the... the uh, the, the effect of the mm -hmm. blade design, yeah. It's crazy. Nowadays, uh, I'm looking at a uh, some in cool little devices where there's goggles, like the HoloLens that Microsoft just announced here a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. They're goggles you put on, and you can actually see holograms right in front of you. So, uh, Or even 3D projectors. Uh, wow. Uh, we, I'm seeing that down in the future that uh, we're hoping to, to actually have. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's crazy how stuff is being evolved. Yes, yeah. yes. goes quick, doesn't it? Oh, it goes really fast, yeah. 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 Um, Engineers Day Tuesday, five to eight at SUNY Canton. Yep. Wh where on campus? It'll be at the Neville Dine Technology Center. Okay. Yep. And uh, please register uh, online www.canton.edu, or you okay. can call three eight six seven one one nine. Okay. Thanks for coming in today. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Eight twenty eight. Prince Royce and Snoop Dogg now at YesFM.